War. War never changes. Fallout 4 finally announced, finally likely to be here. Now, there have been details that have been released at E3 uh, regarding the release date in November. The real life Pip Boy you'll be able to get um, on a special edition. And uh, various gameplay features. But, you know, reputable games reporting locations have probably got more information than I'm going to give here. What I'm going to give here is my theory, and that's all it is for now. Now, you may remember, not that long ago, there was a bit of a furore over uh, Valve and Bethesda going, Hey, you know Skyrim? It's got a lot of mods. Let's make them paid. People didn't like this, and, you know, they did the sensible thing and went, OK, there's an established modding community who are a bit annoyed that now some people are able to go, Well, you like this mod? It's behind a paywall. And I could kind of see that. Whilst I agree that modders should be remunerated, and whenever I'm able, you know, I will kind of hit the donate button, it wasn't the best way to do it. Um, like I say, it was an established modding community where there are already mods out there and some of the kind of, I don't know, seen by the community as greedier uh, individuals, you know, were quick to go, well, you like it, you buy it. Um... But this, as I say, caused a lot of problems and a lot of falling out. And some modders have kind of said, well, you know, if people don't want to pay, then I'm, I'm giving up. And some of those are um, really talented people. Um, there is also the story of the guy who created Falscar, a massive add-on, effectively, you know, an entire DLC done by a modder. Um, and he, you know, is now working in the industry which is his goal that's kind of what he did it for get noticed so there are benefits to modding now when Fallout 4 comes out um, and the new GEC um, I kind of see the potential that paid mods are going to be likely from the get go they're going to have the infrastructure in place in November um, if not maybe a little before um, to to have that there now, you may say, but there's already an established modding community. You know, the, for example, the Skyrim guys who often also work on Fallout Three and New Vegas mods because they're both Bethesda games with amazing open worlds, etc., etc., etc. But you could argue the game itself, Fallout Four, doesn't have a modding community because it doesn't exist. And this is something that was mentioned when um, the Skyrim paid mods thing collapsed the established modding community was the biggest block and as technically doesn't have an established community and we know Valve and Bethesda are up for this paid mods thing I'm putting my thoughts out there that that's a likely end result now I'd love you know to prove them wrong in some ways but I'd also like it to be correct because like I say, I agree that people doing work should be remunerated for it. You know, you wouldn't go to your job for like, I don't know, a month and say, no, don't pay me. I enjoy working here. You know, not every modder has a day job. That's one thing to consider. Most probably do, but not all of them do. This is kind of, if you will, their passion, their life's goal, their life's work. And so they want to get paid for it and I'm not going to deny them that whilst I am able any mods that I download I am happy to donate for I haven't always been able to do it in the past and I may not always be able to do it in the future but when I am able and there is a mod that is deserving of a donation I will and if we all do that then this transition that is likely to happen is going to be a lot easier so something to consider and see what happens in November. Until next time, as always, take care.